great day it's amanda and i just wanted to go live real quick on a topic and that topic is words of wisdom for the watchful prayerful virtuous woman now let me give my disclaimer i don't claim to be any type of expert but i stand on let the redeemed of the lord say so whom you have redeemed from the hand of the enemy and if you can please bear with me as quite windy out here as you can see it's a lovely day for those of you who are not familiar with the philadelphia area i'm at kelly drive it's a few blocks down from the um, philadelphia art museum so i wanted to come to you on this topic thank you for the shout outs on today um blessings to you strength and peace um the topic of this scope is words of wisdom for the watchful virtuous prayerful woman now, there are a few points that I want to go over. Now, the first thing I want to discuss here is that the Bible tells us in Proverbs 31, which is probably a very popular reference of scripture in describing the virtuous woman. But the thing that I like that it says is found in Proverbs 31, 30. And it says, favor is deceitful and beauty is vain. But a woman that fears the Lord, she shall be praised. Give her of the fruit of her hands and let her own works praise her in the gates. Now, this scope is not designed to bring any type of division or anything or, you know, to try to be contentious, and that's gonna be my next point, but I wanted to make sure I celebrated the qualities of the virtuous, prayerful woman. The Bible tells us to pray without ceasing. We gotta rejoice with those that rejoice. I wanna deal with this spirit here you know, not to sound condescending, but you know what? We can't always deal with the sweet and not deal with the sour. I want to deal with the sour on this scope. It's about recognizing the fact that, you know, there's a lot of shadiness going on. And the watchful, virtuous, prayerful woman is not intimidated, does not have to walk around with their nose up in the air like they're better than everybody. The watchful, virtuous, prayerful woman is a woman of humility who celebrates the accomplishments of others. Someone who is a compliment, an asset. Somebody who can always give the sizzle to the steak. I'm talking about the virtuous, watchful, prayerful woman that understands it's not a competition. That what God has for her, God has for her. The type of individual who knows how to stand on the truth of God's word. And I want to go to this scripture without delay about the contentious woman. And it's found in Proverbs. It says, it is better to dwell in a corner of a housetop than with a brawling woman and in a wide house that's found in proverbs 25 24 because see what i notice here is a lot of folks want to walk around and fake the punk but the truth of the matter is if you don't deal with that funky attitude then you're going to stay in that low pit and we're talking about the watchful woman the watchful woman is not afraid of correction you know a fool says in his heart there is no god and we're dealing with this thing right here so let's deal with the prayer aspect of it because i don't want to sound coco or cuckoo post on this thing but i'm here to let you know that i'm going to deal with that spirit right now that contentious spirit that spirit that doesn't want to celebrate the accomplishment of others that spirit that wants to have your little class your little league your little crew in one little corner and you want to declare war almost like bring it on i don't know if y'all i'm dating myself now but bring it on i, I like that movie by the way y'all and then they got the competition with the cheerleaders and stomping and different things like that. I can't really dance and stomp. But the bottom line is this is not bringing on. This is about the watchful, prayerful, virtuous woman. This is not a competition. And you know what? Age doesn't necessarily bring wisdom. Because if you don't understand these principles, you're not going to understand nothing else. As long as the earth remains, there's seed time and harvest. We're talking about the virtuous, watchful woman. The one who understands the purpose of prayer. The one who knows about building their fellow sisters and brothers up. The one that knows that we have an adversary and we wrestle not against flesh and blood. The one who can see beyond the emotionalism, beyond the surface, beyond the makeup, beyond the lip gloss. I'm talking about the virtuous, watchful, prayerful woman. Give me a second. I got to go to my next point trying to flow with this but even as i speak there's contention here you know you don't know what kind of spirits are camped in this area there may be a witch somewhere in the area but we bind it up in the name of jesus trying to get me to choke over my words trying to get my hair to fly in my mouth you see how i'm fighting my hair right now amen listen to this proverbs 18 22 states whoso findeth a wife 
find of a good thing and obtain a favor of the Lord. The watchful, prayerful, virtuous woman understands that it does not make you weak to say that you can go into partnership. And there are some who opt to stay single, that's fine. You know, and seek the Lord or whatever. Some people want to become a nun, and I'm not trying to throw no shade. But the bottom line is, when you are a virtuous, watchful woman, you understand it doesn't make you weaker. When you can communicate, when you can interact, when you can partner up, it's a, it's a sign of your strength, it's a sign of your gentleness, it's a sign of your meekness, it's a sign of your humility. I want to go to Genesis 2, quickly, 21 through 25. And a lot of you are already familiar with this reference of scripture, but we can't deal with the virtuous woman unless we first find out where did this woman come from. And the Lord caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and he slept, and he took one of his ribs, closed up the flesh instead thereof, and the rib which the Lord God had taken from man made he a woman and brought her unto the man. And Adam said, this is now bone of my bones and flesh in my flesh. She shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother and shall cleave unto his wife. And they shall be one flesh and they were both naked and the man and his wife were not ashamed. The virtuous, watchful, prayerful woman understands from whence she came, from whence she originated from. You got to know where your roots are. If you don't know where you've been, you don't know where you're going. It's okay to say, okay, this was my background. This was my culture. These were the things that I encountered. The virtuous, watchful, prayerful woman is not afraid to give her testimony, but you don't got to camp there. You know, we forget them things that behind, but help somebody up. You know, you once remember what it was to not be saved. So don't go around like you don't got to wash up at the end of the day. Don't go around, you know, like you don't got that, you know, let me just stay off of that topic right now but you know how babies are born let me tell you right now that the virtuous watchful prayerful woman understands that your past is not the dictator of your future and that's why i thought it was important to go to that reference of scripture in genesis I feel like i'm metamorphosing out here the virtuous prayerful watchful woman is like a butterfly coming out of the cocoon the caterpillar ready to fly ready to say lord use me lord have your way give me a plan of action not afraid to submit i'm not going to get into all that because that's too much for one day for one lesson but the next thing i want to the next point i want to gloss over is found in esther 4. it's a quality of the virtuous, watchful, prayerful woman. And that quality is found in Esther 4.16. Go gather together all the Jews that are present in Shushan and fast ye for me and neither eat nor drink three days, night or day. I also and my maidens will fast likewise and so will I go in unto the king which is not according to the law. And if I perish, I perish. One of the characteristics of the watchful, prayerful, virtuous woman is that of discipline. Can you put that plate down? Can you put that television down for a few hours, for a few minutes? Can you turn away gossip and slander? Let's deal with it right now. Yeah, yeah, I'm not getting a lot of amens on the scope right now because we don't want to deal with that. You want to get in your little amen corner and tear the next person down. But God is dealing with folks in this season who don't want to deal with their funky attitude, who don't want to humble themselves because the virtuous, watchful, prayerful woman is a woman that not afraid to lower herself, to lift somebody up higher. And James 4.10, it says, humble yourself in the sight of the Lord and he will lift you up. It doesn't include a spirit of fear. It doesn't include you know, a spirit of demonic competition, but understanding the power of partnership, understanding the power of unity. We may get attitudes sometimes, but the Bible tells us, be slow to speak, quick to hear, and slow to wrath. This is a quality of the prayerful, virtuous, watchful woman. Yeah, you understand that sometimes you gotta hold that tongue. You know, you declare that you be justified, and I can hear what you're saying, some of you. Who are you to think that you can get up on this screen and tell me what the virtuous, watchful, prayerful woman is. Well, you know what? Everybody's definition varies, but it's under the same premise. And that premise is the premise of love. Understanding that all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Think about how shameful it was to Eve to hear the instruction of her husband, the instruction of God, and to go her own way and to be deceived by the serpent. This is not a quality of the virtuous, you know, 
prayerful, watchful woman because the Bible tells us to watch as well as pray. But when you've been downtrodden, when you've been beaten down so low, when you feel like you've been stripped of your value and stripped of your worth and folks have told you, you will never amount to anything. Can anything good come out of this girl, out of this woman, out of this individual? Well, the answer is yes, for who the Son has set free is free indeed. I'm here to give you good news, and that good news is there's power in the name of Jesus. The good news is this. You don't have to be a victim of your past. You don't have to be the victim of other people's projections. You don't have to be the victim of demonic satanic principalities. And now for a word of prayer. Devil, we bind up every demonic principality that will try to come against us for evil. We bind it up by the blood of Jesus. No weapon formed against us shall be able to prosper. The Lord executes righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. Whatever point of contact the witch is using. Hallelujah. DNA, video, audio, clips whatever the witch is using to try to project and saturate it we bind it by the fire of the blood of Jesus we declare the peace and the love of heaven be prevalent we declare that the angels be dispatched from the north south east and the west that he has given charge over us to keep us in all of our ways we decree and we declare what shall we say to these things if God be for us who can be against us God's people will never be ashamed so now let's listen to this next and last final point because I have to bring this thing to a close a characteristic of the watchful, prayerful, virtuous woman is one who learns how to seek and heed to the promptings of the Holy Spirit. Now this might not be a popularity contest. It might not get you in the Beamers. Y'all watch that show, The Game? You know, the Beamers. Like, they're pretty humble to me, if you ask me. I, I don't want to get into that show right now. I mean, they didn't seem that bougie to me. But... The virtuous woman understands that you don't have to fit in with the crowd. Sometimes you gotta be like that woman with the issue of blood who pressed through the crowd, who said the, well, I'm dealing with two different references. One said, I'll eat the crumbs from the master's feet. You know, they called her a dog. But the one that pressed through the crowd did not care who was looking at her, didn't care if her weave was straight or her jerry curl was intact, did not care. Hallelujah. If she had those romance curls, what she cared about was pressing to the altar, pressing to get a touch of his hem of his garment, knowing the power of humility of pressing through the rain, through the storm, and saying, like Esther said, if I perish, I perish, but understanding who you are, that the eye of the Lord is in every place, beholding the good and the evil, that you don't have to be a victim of these set traditions and cultural strongholds. God is breaking strongholds on today in the name of Jesus. He's going to do a new thing. Yes, he's a God of strategy. Yes, he's a God of order, but he's a God of a new thing. He's a God of breakthroughs. He said, I have not seen an ear, have not heard it. Neither have it entered into the heart of man the things that God has prepared for them who love him. The virtuous, watchful, prayerful woman is someone who would get up in the middle of the night and pray. And you will seek the Lord and you will get on your face. And you will turn down that plate. And you will not be afraid of the unpopular decision. Stand in the beauty of the Lord. Now, I want to give another disclaimer because people from all different backgrounds may be viewing this scope. You know, you're, if you're a woman under authority, you know how that order goes. You, you, you know what I'm talking about. When you're under authority, you seek that authority. You seek that affirmation and that authorization. So I'm not here trying to give anybody any type of advice. I just wanted to lift up that one who may have needed uplifting today to let you know that you fit the category of a virtuous, watchful, prayerful woman. I don't care what part of the world you were born in, what your economic status is or was. God wants to do a new thing in your life today. Do you have the money? Do you have the beauty? But you're not happy. Is it the other way around? You have no time to do the things you wanna do. Well, I'm here to encourage you that as you seek the Lord in prayer and you break out of the strongholds of your mind and you destroy that spirit of fear by stepping in the zone of humility and love, the zone of the supernatural, where with God all things are possible. To them that believe, I'm here to let you know you don't have to be contentious looking for an argument, looking to be right all the time, just to feel better about yourself, but knowing that you can rest in the one who's got you 
cradled in his arms at all times, that unconditional love that comes from the Father, from above. The Lord is on your side, and he's watching you as you are watchful and prayerful and walking in a spirit of love. The watchful, prayerful, virtuous woman. That's right, that's you. And God wants to shower you with his love on today. Stand and see the salvation of the Lord. I hope that this was able to encourage somebody on today. Because the watchful, prayerful, virtuous woman is not afraid to apologize. Is not afraid to bring open rebuke and speak the truth in love. No, that demonic league that's been trying to get you, that's been trying to devour you, that's been plotting on you. She's crazy, she's shabby, she's ugly. I don't like her hairstyle. I don't like her shoes with that dress. Because they're looking at the outward. But God is looking at something within your spirit that cannot be measured. He's looking at that thing that was birthed within you before you were formed in your mother's womb. You are that virtuous, watchful, prayerful woman. Restore that relationship, that friendship on today. And ask the Lord to reveal the truth of that situation. Don't become a victim of this gossip and strife. You know, because there are some folks who are trained and skilled in the art of division, but they're under a demonic influence. You bind that thing up in the name of Jesus and say, Holy Spirit, reveal all truth. Because you're not the author of confusion. And the Lord will begin to step on your path to cultivate the fruits of the Spirit. Well, until next time, I want to say to you, I love you. The Lord loves you. And his peace is flowing. Don't let a screenshot of your past become a permanent place where you have to camp and dwell. Move forward. It's a new day. We move